What's up guys, it's David here. Um, I'm recording this on my new mic. Uh, believe it or not, I've got another new mic. Um, this one is completely different compared to the USBs I usually get though. Um, my previous mic was a, a Rode NT USB. Everyone's using their mics. But uh, basically I just swapped. I swapped me, um, I, I originally swapped the microphone as well, which I've still got, just in case I want to use that another time or, you know what I mean, uh, just simple, it's simpler. But yeah, I ended up swapping with uh, my friend JGK Johnny, you know him, he's been on this channel before. Because uh, he's not really doing much uh, of the vocals nowadays, and even though, even if he does, the NT is great for vocals in my opinion. I've produced a lot of tracks on there, and I produced me, uh, me, me EP, um, Relapse, I produced all that. Uh, all the vocals through that mic, so um, yeah, end up swapping though because I just want to take it a bit further. And if I want to do proper proper singing songs, I'm gonna have to up my equipment, get better stuff, and it's just the way it works, isn't it? If you want to make good co uh, good quality sound, uh, good content, audio content, you gotta have to upgrade your stuff. And I had the chance to do so. I've had the chance to do all this now. Uh, I've honestly, guys, this is all about upgrades. For example, before I get into the big uh, talk about what I've got now and what I've decided to do with the room, there's another upgrade, which is you might have realised I'm playing COD 4 this time, uh, and not Modern Warfare 2. I am going to still be doing Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to do an episode on Christmas Eve. It's going to be released by Christmas Eve as well, so I have to be on my toes for the editing. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely have a, a Modern Warfare 2 video out for Christmas Eve. And I still will, will be playing Modern Warfare 2 as well. It's just if I fancy switching the game up a little bit, I'm going to play a bit COD 4. Um, I don't like the RSE bots that are on COD 4 though, because you can't do nothing with them. You can't uh, change them around. You can't get them to go less or more uh, difficulty wise. Because I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm not amazing at this game. I mean, this gun was so shit, I couldn't get a kill. I'm, I'm just not used to COD 4, yeah? I ended up buying it, I ended up buying COD 4 for the, um, for the PC. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I ended up buying COD 4 for the PC, just for the sake of trying something new out. And I knew there was an RSE bots for COD 4. I did try to get the, um, the cracked version. Um, I looked everywhere and they were just all shit. They didn't work with my controller or nothing. And actually, that was my me, me, me main worry at first. When I bought the uh, Steam version, um, I was worried in case the controller configuration still, there was no actual community ones. Because uh, I did before X, I had a, a COD community one, and I'm using that now with the controller. But luckily, there was one on here, and it's really good. Uh, and the only issue being is that the, the crouch button doesn't work properly, so I'm going to have to do that myself in the config. He hasn't made it a tap version, he's just made it press at once, and you can't press out to get it back on your feet. So yeah, but anyway, onto the onto the uh, the main things I want to basically flex on you. Um, basically, what I've done is the past few weeks I've been upgrading all my equipment. Um, I just I think I'm gonna get some more soundproof padding for the room as well, uh, just for the sake of when I'm recording, I can cover my room in soundproof padding. It won't. It, there's actually really isn't any issue with um, the sound. There's no actual like issues at all with the sound quality. So I haven't made my mind up about that yet. But I've got a brand new desk, um, if I can find an image, or oh, I can take an image, I'll put it in now. Uh, I've got a new desk, an L-shaped an L -shaped desk, so I've got more room um, to play with, basically. And along with that, I've got a new mic, like that's what, I'm, that's what I was getting onto. Um, I swapped, obviously, with Johnny, like I say, I've got, I'm on an audio interface and stuff now, so I'm getting used to the more dynamic parts of uh, vocal recording and producing and stuff. Um, yeah, so I've got a new mic, a new interface, because I'm used to USBs, I, I, I was so ignorant that I just didn't want to use a USB, I didn't want to use an interface, I, was, I found it too, uh, too confusing basically, but I ended up uh, biting the bullet and thinking, fuck it, I'm going to have to get used to it eventually, because I can't stay on USBs forever, there's only a certain amount of good USB mics out there, and the Rode NT I got lucky with, the Sub-Zero I got lucky with. So yeah, um, this is my third mic. I was using the Presonus mic that you get with the audio box, but it just wasn't my style. It wasn't take, bringing out the sound I wanted. And it sounded really like muffled. I don't know, like it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Like, I could produce a good track on it. I've done a few, uh, I've done a track on IDH Music for the first time in months. Um, it was a, a remix of a song though, so it wasn't really anything important. But I tried the Presonus mic on it. It's great for rap vocals. But it was, and it's great for actual, like, just normal singing vocals as well, but it wasn't bringing out the dynamic sound I wanted, and it just it wasn't really my sort of vibe, if you know what I mean. 
So I end up getting a, another road mic. So I'm still on the road, guys. I'm still picking up road every time. And um, this one's the road NT1A. So it's basically still the NT series, but it's the NT1A. I've seen a lot of uh, good reviews about it. And I know it's a pretty old mic, actually. But I end up getting it anyway because it just looks really nice and it sounds really nice as well. Um, I've done a few covers on it to test it. And I think I've covered about three or four songs. I've, I've even done a rap song, guys. Because this uh, this new new stuff has brought out um, more, uh, what's it, like, heart in me. Like, I want to do all sorts of music again. And it's brought out the excitement a little bit again. So I've done a new rap track the other day just to see what rap vocals are like on it. And I already had written this because I still write even when I'm taking a break. And practically, I did quit rap. Uh, I don't know if I'm... If I can say I've, I've, I'm quitting rap permanently, but I know it's not something I'm seeing as my first option. I'm just seeing it as something I have fun with right now. And if I fancy writing a few tracks and putting a little EP together, I will do that. It's like a collective, maybe like LMA. Uh, we haven't done an LMA album, we're supposed to, but um, I don't know what happened to the album. It just kind of got scrapped with breaks and stuff. The producer Lockwood um, was got all the vocals and stuff, so if he doesn't release it, there's an LMA album. But yeah, that's me rabbiting on for a while. I haven't really got much left of the video, so I don't want to start on a new conversation. I will put out another Call of Duty 4 video as well. I'm going to do that over the new year and stuff. Like It's a new a new start, along with obviously doing the Modern Warfare 2 stuff as well. I've got loads of new equipment. I'm just buzzing. I've got a new bed coming on Thursday as well, like a new bed, so I've got more room in this room. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.